Hi, I'm Darnell Cox with Live Young Lifestyle, and I'm here today again with my good friend, Dr. Mark Mani, plastic surgeon to the stars. And as you can tell, my face is not looking its greatest right now, but we're on the road to that. I just did Morpheus, and this is kind of the precursor to your signature treatment, the mist. Mist is where I take stem cells from your fat. So I take a little bit of fat out with just general process of liposuction with a very small metal tube. Okay. Doesn't hurt. And then I take that fat and process out the fat cells. So the only thing that are left are stem cells and other cells that support the fat cells. So there's no fat. So this is not fat transfer. Okay. It's just stem cells that come from your own body. And then we inject them right away throughout your face to rejuvenate your skin of your face. And okay. the thing I like about mist is the fact that it is a rejuvenating process that doesn't thin out your skin. Lasers tend to thin out the skin. Peels tend, tend to thin out the skin, especially with skin that's the beautiful diaphanous kind of translucent skin like you have, where well, over time right it can now. get... <laughs> it's good to have cell turnover, but you need cells to turn over. And so I think if you do too much thinning with peels and lasers, you're just losing cells. And you're yeah. just literally thinning out the skin to paper thin. Yeah. You know, that's Shift more constructive. And kind of alternate, alternate between like these lasers and the skin care that kind of exfoliates and helps with cell turnover. And then creating a thicker, more substantial kind mm -hmm. of, you know, structure mm -hmm. underneath all of that to support. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And one of the things that I think is important with, you know, people talk about co it generates collagen. And I always tell patients that, you can take a cheese grater and grate it on your arm and that will generate collagen. Yeah. Collagen is just a form of a molecule that forms in scar tissue. So there's good types and bad types. And so just collagen on its own is not necessarily a good thing. You have to do the right kind of collagen and the stem cells will generate the right kind of collagen and also elastin, which gives your skin more elasticity. Which we need. Which we need. It'll be good to stave off these sort of uh, early incipient baby fine lines that you yes. have, you know, in the neck, the transverse lines. Yes. And, and also the elastin will adds elasticity and it generates new blood supply. So there's cells called pericytes, which are little ringlet cells and they form blood vessels just like the seams on your pipes under your sink have, have the little joint. Pericyte is like that joint and the blood vessel grows out from it like a tube. The, the peak benefit is going to be around day 28? No, the, in the, the, that's a good question. The beginning is day 28. You won't see any oh. real effects. Now you'll see swelling and people categorically come back on day five. Oh, my skin looks so good on day five to seven. But I tell them honestly, that's all because of swelling. Because you know, you want to be honest about what you're seeing and what you're not seeing. Then that kind of goes down, and then we really start to see that regenerative process that happens with the stem cells. Yeah. But I'm really excited about this, and I will for sure. I'll document the whole process so you can see how the skin changes um, starting on day 28 mm -hmm. through through six months. So okay, I'm excited awesome. about this. So front row seat. Front row seat. Stay tuned. It's With great. all the foreign stuff that we're putting to, into our skin and all the skin care, to utilize the power of your own body, yeah. that's a really good way to live young.